Hi there! We just finished designing and developing this collection and in this video I want to show you how we did it. Our goal was to develop an industrial look and when we are developing the design, this metal bar as the main part of the design. So the metal bar going through all the items and we have two options. First, we keep it as the metal or we can swap it to wood. We can simply put uh, the wooden stripes here painted in black and unless you touch it, you won't see the difference. So that's number one. Number two, we needed to work with the color. Uh, the factory we are working with uh, was running and running, still running a similar color for their production but that color we could see is already too old and outdated so we picked that color we worked with the finishing supplier and we changed it we tuned it up and we made it better we had a few attempts i rejected a few colors before we actually achieved this one we needed to add these uh, stripes here to have this industrial look and have the white glaze in regards to the materials, it's uh, solid wood acacia and MDF acacia veneer. So all the frames is made out of uh, solid wood, this part here, and same on the case goods, the panels, which uh, the top and the sides and the front of the drawers made out of MDF veneer. And when you work with acacia, it's actually better to work with the veneer. Because if you work with the solid wood, you will see the color differences, which you can see everywhere, uh, basically. And this is messing up the color a little bit. Uh, with the solid wood, it's a lot harder to achieve the even smooth finish, uh, which we do on all our items. The only challenge we may face further is when you put the case goods on the rug or on the carpet and when you open the bottom drawers they may hit the rug, right? To avoid this, first of all, we are adding the pin on the bottom so it's already lifting it up for five, approximately 5 mm. Uh, we will start testing it before the mass production on the rugs and if we need to, we will lift up for another 3 mm, which won't be visible, but it will eliminate this issue. The headboard, this metal stripe goes right till the bottom, and it's, uh, therefore it needs to stick out. This is how we developed this collection and um, I hope to see you in the next videos. Uh, subscribe, click the like buttons and uh, see you then.